sir. Good morning. So did you drink everything? <laughs> everything. I'd like to ask you to do something. Good morning, how are you? Good, sounds great. Good morning. So let's pass through. Please go through. Mikhail, come in. Ты чего не пришла туда? Нехорошо. Fedor Nikolaevich, where are you? Fedor Nikolaevich, stand by, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Его видно немножко. So now with the fanless players. And a bit closer to each other. That's good. And now with the managers. Good morning, good morning. I have a question on the fast profile approach and rendezvous. Does it have uh, any differences that you have to retrain? No, not really. The vehicle is the same, but some operations uh, are done in the shorter time frames. For example, leak checks, one hour, one hour and a half, two hours. So there are certain small differences, but the vehicle, the service vehicle is still the same. The propulsion system is still there, it's the same. The attitude is the same. It's just that we, well, not we, the designers, we try to fit all the operations uh, from the 40, 48 hour profile into 24 hour profile. Is it true that you dreamed to fly like this? Yes, because at the beginning, when the decision was being taken, uh, the thought was that the first flight was a test flight in which uh, Pavel Vinogradov participated, and I took part in all those discussions as well. Back when I was uh, uh, part of uh, RSC and Nergia, I was also working on this, and they said that probably the second flight will go back to the old profile, and we'll go back to the new profile, and we'll have to redo. So what I did is I talked to my crew members, and I explained all the peculiarities of uh, both profiles and uh, all of us agreed to go ahead and to try to fly with the first profile it was my main thing that this is not decision of the command this decision of the entire crew and uh, I started to work on this uh, and uh, my crew members helped me for example Karen as a flight engineer too she had to perform certain uh, activities which were not for a flight engineer to do, but she was uh, great at it. And Luca, you know, his knowledge of Russian and his uh, great operator abilities, uh, so nobody had any doubts. And we do hope that our dream will come true. And by the way, the patch of our expedition, it has just four orbits. It was from the very beginning. 
The next two weeks in Baikonur will be a lot of resting for us to stay healthy and be well rested for the flight. We'll also have a few uh, ceremonial events that we will take part in. And one of the most important things is uh, what they call fit checks in the vehicle itself, where we'll be able to get suited up and go in and make sure we um, know where everything is packed and um, make sure everything is fit for us uh, properly, um, but, but mostly resting. Could you say something about the time that you've spent together as a crew? Uh, can one say that you've become a real close family? It's not up for discussion, no, because uh, sure, at the very first stage, we were totally different strangers to each other. We saw each other for the first time, understand this. But uh, there is uh, one thing which unifies all of us. We are professionals, we are astronauts, we are cosmonauts, we want to fly. Take Karen. Her family is a professional astronaut family, husband is an astronaut. Luca is a professional test pilot who has dreamt to, to go to space. And I've seen how he trained. So this dream is something that uh, unifies all of us. So you can say that we have to, but I say that we are forced to, we are compelled to, to stay together, because this is our life, our life, uh, joint life in common. And it all depends on uh, the actions of each of us. And uh, we have trust and confidence in each other. We do have it, trust and confidence. And besides, we are all family people. We have, uh, we have uh, families, each of us. And uh, so if you take uh, at this level, each of us has a big family. And all of us, we are a one big family. I'll use this Italian word, mefe. We are a mefe. It's, it's a mixed feeling, uh, it's, it's a bittersweet sensation because uh, even though I'm, I'm really excited and uh, you know, I'm happy that this final step is, is starting now, uh, the preparation to launch, it's also, it, it feels a little bit like leaving a very comfortable place where I've been living for, uh, for the past three years. So uh, it, there is a little bit of, um, of melancholy uh, with, with it. Uh, in Italiano è una Lasciare Star City è un, è un momento eh, dolce e amaro perché eh, dopo eh, tre anni di preparazione qui a Star City, vivendo qui a Star City con i russi, una, una grande famiglia, un, un posto bellissimo, eh, mi, sono, mi sono abituato, lascio qui un, un pezzettino della mia anima, ed è, eh, anche se sono chiaramente molto molto contento di partire per quest'ultimo eh, gradino prima del volo. Please let the cosmos through. So who is going to fly to space? Please go into the bus. And please count everybody. 